Good day and welcome, Songo here for another video of Kelthos going over the new little changes for which are pretty significant buffs. In fact, <laughs> chat's going a little bit wild, but okay. Uh, since the patch, I've had a 100% win rate with Kel'Thas. Then again, <laughs> I've only played two games of Kel'Thas on this patch. <clears throat> Still a little bit sick, if you'll excuse me. So, yes. The first game was uh, my first game of the day, really. And I was like... Ooh, Elden! Let's melee him! That's a incredible use of my new 10% range increase on Flame Strike. It's like half of the screen now. Which is pretty amazing. Going to proc that for the free explosion. And so, yes. And again, I'm gonna proc it for the free explosion damage, plus the dot damage, plus the explosion damage again. And he's gonna walk away. No, he's not. Okay, well. I'm very obviously winning these engages. So. Hmm. So, I'm just gonna do this. They may need to tone down, um, Kel'Thas's Living Bomb buffs. He needed some buffs, but 10% to the damage over time plus 20% to the explosion is kind of insane. And it wasn't... I mean, it's nice. It definitely counterbalances that Kel'Thas has basically no defensive mechanics anymore. <clears throat> but, yeah. Ah, help. Please, someone. I really need help. Someone. Please. Someone. That. I overstayed. Hmm. Yeah. He was only turning in four coins. That's not that bad. <laughs> okay. Well, just turned them all in. So, yay. No one responded. Oh, well. So. And the second game was actually an incredible stomp, which was pretty incredible. Like, just, yeah. We didn't even have an Ilden or anything. We just stomped their entire team. A 40 to 1 win rate, or score on that bell tower thingy. Know what? I can't. No. Oh, good job. No, oh, I wanted to living bomb him again. But it's fine. <clears throat> and now Flame Strike no longer requires empowerment to deal damage, which is a pretty significant buff. If you remember to actually use the extra empower that you've now got due to it being freed up, and you don't waste the empowerment where it's not needed, and you do still empower it when it is needed, but otherwise it's a very significant um, buff. Okay, so let's see. Hmm. I should go for Gravity Crush since it's been changed, buffed, rather, 
to deal an extra 5% damage on death, er, on stun, er, increase, okay, here, read it, they take 30% increased damage from you, Jesus Christ, and they've been stunned. <clears throat> so, yeah, that's up from 25%. Which is, okay, just by the sheer nature of this talent, I still think it's not going to be very good, but I've tried it, and it's not bad, I guess. I didn't really notice it, but it's not bad. Then again, it is a 30% increase. And I'm over here saying that a roughly 12% increase in overall damage may be... Come on! I, I really want a move-only button. That was... that's bullshit. <sighs> because I don't want to fucking attack with my goddamn mouse. I'd use my keyboard if I wanted to attack. Ugh. But that's Ilden, and I was overextended. I was dead either way, but still, that's annoying as fuck. So, we've got more than enough coins. And Ilden is still down there. So, Phoenix to deny the turn in. And that's going to stay there for about 10 seconds. 7 seconds, rather. And now Ilden's jumped in on them. He's now been rooted, which gives me time to do that. And makes it easy. <laughs> e2 stun. So, good job. We've actually got a team in comp that can deal with Ilden. So yay, I'm gonna take these coins since they aren't going to be contesting. Using a free living bomb, it deals bonus damage. Er, it doesn't deal bonus damage, but increases my DPS on the chest. And plus it lets me regenerate mana since I picked up mana tap. And by having mana, it means I can spam my spells. Let's take this. Kel'Thas is actually pretty good at soloing uh, camps if he uses his ult. Then again, most characters are. That was my first time trying to use Empowered Gravity Laps instead of double Verdant Spheres, or er, Verdant Spheres and double Living Balm. That giant camp. I think there was a definite improvement for clear time for using double living bomb there. So yeah. Oh well. So, looks like they're gonna want to be turning in. Uh, okay. I do not want to be here. I picked up flames. Er, ah! There! No, it didn't hit! No! I'm being zoned out so hard. Okay, there we go! Awesome! Ugh. Okay, I empowered Living Bomb so that it would be for free and, like, be up if I needed it again. Ah, ah. Okay, let's do that. Do this on him. Do this. Got a auto attack. Yeah, that sucks. We perhaps overcommitted. Nice. <laughs> Game over, man. Game over. <laughs> DJ. <laughs> yeah. I definitely think I would have preferred having go gone for Sunfire Enchantment. Simply because, well... I would have been able to deal that extra 300 or so damage to him. 
and so yeah. Uh, someone's getting a bit bloodthirsty. Not meaning it that way, but okay, that works. <laughs> uh, mind, get back here, seriously. This may be another stomp. Starting to seriously look like it, so just gonna help. He did not pick up that coin. Good game. My teammates suck. So yeah, I'm gonna empower Living Bomb and then Flame Strike the boss because that will allow me to then use another Living Bomb. But I should have waited for Vern Spheres and then Living Bomb so that I would have been able to maximize this DPS. I'm still testing things out with the new way that this is set up, as I hope you can tell. But <clears throat> I'm having incredible success with this, as I've already told you. Much better than my near 50% win rate after the nerf, which was incredibly severe. Considering my win rate before the nerf was 66%. Oh god, I'm gonna save you. I'm gonna save you. Sun King's Fury. And the- Ah, missed him. You see? This is why I really do not like- Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, okay, so no one's coming. That's good to know. That's good to know. He's retreating. Let's go back in. Okay. We can stop the turn in. And then sit here. No? Okay, good. Ilden just suicided. He was actually rooted. No reason for me to um, place it as though he was going to run towards me. So, yeah. Oh well. Ah, uh, whatever. Mistake, but not a severely... Um, bad mistake. Still a mistake that I need to um, pay attention to. I'm not paying attention to my allies anywhere near enough, I'm noticing. As you could have probably seen from that... Okay, Asmodan is here. He showed it. Hmm. No, he was just retreating. Okay, he's up in middle. That's good. And... There we go. Don't even need my ult, because Asmodan came to help. Okay. I fucked that up. I meant to hit the entire minion way. I'm lagging really bad. Sending that out to deal some power damage. Not empowering my uh, flame strike, because I don't need to. The extra AoE would have been wasted. Empowering Flame Strike because it can be useful now. Ah, oh shit! No, I wasn't paying attention! Oh, uh, I'm dead! And that's why you need to pay attention. This was all planned in reality. I wanted to show you guys how to um, suck so that, you know, you don't. Clearly. It's definitely not me being completely overconfident and just assuming that the enemy's just bowing down before our feet. Definitely not. Definitely. Yeah, I'm really not liking Gravity Crush. As I've said in my guide. It's just not up anywhere near enough, even if I am able to land gravity laps offensively. Which in this Ilden meta is a bit difficult. Just a bit. So, they are fighting, but are the important guys fighting? Yes. The guys with the coins, I mean. 
who are important, in my opinion. I should probably be helping instead of capturing, but whatever. Good job. Okay, let's take this. Going to Flame Strike, unempowered, and instead use the empowerment for extra damage. I've been sitting on this talent for a full level. I'll take Rebirth. It's effectively more siege damage. So yeah. Hmm. Okay. Looks like my team's abandoned me. I'm just gonna lay that down to deal damage to the core. And I'm going to turn in. Er, pfft, core, yes. Core, obviously. That's the core. Why wouldn't it be the core? This is the objective. Yeah, totally. Ha, 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 ha. Ha. Oh, quick note. You can press Z in the middle of turning in to queue up automatically, like... Oh, that's Illidan. Do not get in. Even in sight. I think he actually took Metamorphosis. So, I'm kind of safe against him. Safe from him. Oh. Uh, care. Don't die. <laughs> we can still throw this. We are only one level head. They are soaking while we are not. Okay. Uh, second flame, or living bomb did not go off, but whatever. They are attacking down middle. We are pushing down bottom. This is potentially a throw. But they killed Tychus. So, yay. Um, I think I can actually reposition Phoenix over here. Oh, no. Ran out of, like, room. Ah, uh, time. Yes, time. Oh, ho, ho. It's late. Very, very late. Like, I was planning on being in bed. Like, three hours ago. Ha. Ah. But, doesn't matter. Oh, cool little note. You can outrange the core with Flame Strike even easier now. God damn it. Yeah, definitely would have preferred the damned little... <sighs> empowered auto attack to this... Stupid little bit with the bonus damage on. Uh, I was trying to zone him back for you. Oh, nice. For some reason, he didn't run. Ah, oh, God. Why am I not running? Help! 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 Oh, my God. I'm dead. Oh, he stopped to laser me. Okay. Well, um, I'm, I'm, I'm alive. <gasps> <laughs> no. I should have run up. I I thought I had one more second on his cooldown. Jesus Christ. <sighs> if I had calculated how much of his timer was left, I definitely would have run up. If it was actually one more second more, I could have run out of range. Damn it. <sighs> well, this is how you learn. <clears throat> what magic? Okay, looks like that's game. So, good game. I maintain my 100% win rate, so, yeah. Good thing my team sucks. Yeah, just throwing away that early turn-in of four coins. That was a reason to give up entirely. My team sucked and there was nothing I could do. Good game. And have fun.